This is Commerce Texas, past to present. Hey, hello, how are you? I am Burke and you're watching Road Odyssey. Thank you for joining us. Today's video is about Commerce Texas, a very interesting little town and let me begin telling you a little bit about it. Commerce, Texas is 66 miles northeast of Dallas, Texas and 45 miles south of the Texas-Oklahoma border. The city is the home to Texas A&M University, of course the Commerce branch, and it's a four-year university. This is one of the smallest college towns in Texas. And one little historic note is Commerce was named the Bodark Capital of Texas. It has the second largest Bodark in Texas that goes by the name of Big Max. Well, it's time for another story of a small Texas town. And for this one, I don't have a lot of history, but it's a great example of how a old American town was born. So let's just see what we got going here. All right, you may not be interested in these train clips, but you know what? It's all about movement. People move to places where they thrive. Okay, like I said a minute ago, there is an interesting reason why this old American town was formed. Two reasons. Number one, some gentlemen who were in Cow Hill, Texas. There was a little ways north. They moved and came into this one little area, Commerce, and began that area. They were the fathers of Commerce, Texas. So it took them to move a mercantile store into that location and take advantage of that route. So that's number one. Number two, the second thing that happened was another move. So East Texas was originally in Cooper, Texas. It burned down and so they moved. And where did they move? Commerce, Texas. So two moves created this town. And here's a little bit more information about it. Now, for this first move, the backstory on creating commerce was that the two founding fathers of commerce, Mr. Jernigan and Mr. Jackson, they had a trading post in Mercantile, I guess, out in Cal Hill. And they decided that knowing that there was a trade route going through uh, this South Sulphur River area where there was a new bridge that they could open up their own new training post and mercantile store there and really, you know, do well because this area was very much a little booming area with all the cotton fields and the farms and ranches. It was just really a nice place. So they moved there. And what was happening, the way the name of the city came about was Jernigan drove his wagons down to the river port of Jefferson, Texas, which just that's where most everything came from in, in this East Texas, North Texas area was Jefferson. And he was asked, you know, where are these crates on your wagon and all this stuff going to go to? And he just simply said, write commerce on my goods. And so that's what they did, and it just kind of snowballed from there. So where they were was a center of commerce, and they just named their new little town commerce. Just as simple as that. The second reason for commerce to be established was because of this second move for the college. Now, originally, East Texas Normal College, founded in 1889, was in Cooper, Texas, not too far away. 
Yet in 1894, that college burned down, and so therefore they moved to Commerce. Here is what is right now the Commerce Public Library. It is a Georgian Revival style building, and it served as the Commerce Post Office from 1918 to 1972. And so as being now the public library, it has a lot of the local history and genealogy. The Cow Hill Company seems to be very neat. I think you'd really like it. Although you probably have to get their number off the internet and call them up for an appointment. Now restaurants and places like that, they do business with Cow Hill all the time. Uh, for the antique shop, you do probably need to make an appointment. I met the owner, Gerald. And he was very nice. I do plan on going back there with my wife and going through this shop. It really looks neat. So if you like this kind of thing, call them up, make an appointment, and go check them out. Well, thank you for watching this video on Commerce, Texas. It's a neat little town, so I think you would enjoy kind of popping through there and just relaxing for a little while if you can. And it's kind of, you know, in its own little hub of a lot of neat little Texas towns. So if you drive the area, I think you'll enjoy it. So anyway, if you like that kind of thing and like history, that is fantastic. So... I really do appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe down below. Thank you very much. Y'all have a blessed and fantastic day. Try to relax. Take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye.